Bell Curve City, written by Paul Kersey. St. Louis, Ferguson, and the Unmentionable Racial Realities That Shaped Them. The author writes in journal format. He kept a journal during uh, the whole Michael Brown episode. Ferguson was 73% white in 1990. Michael Brown's hometown, Ferguson, when he died, was 67% black. Why? Immigrants from St. Louis, which Ferguson is a suburb of the St. Louis area, moved there with Section 8 vouchers in hand. So that means a decline in living conditions. Whites flee black crime. Soon Ferguson will be 90 to 95 percent black. Budweiser, a large um, beer company, oops, I need these, left St. Louis and moved to New York City because it's safer. Businesses provide for tax base, pensions, etc. It's taxes from business that pay for so many of the things that make a city decent to live in. Black crime forces property prices to drop and abandonment of businesses. Black communities lack amenities because there's no tax base, no businesses. Restaurants, quality schools, retail, non-plexiglass windows, convenience stores, non-potholed streets, manicured lawns. And in these areas, blacks have no purchasing power outside of the debit food stamp card they have. Eric Holder during this time articulated rioters be allowed to sack Ferguson without repercussions and at some point Obama said stay the course. Now this is terrible when you realize that these educated high-level officials they know the statistics they know that this uh, city will not come back if it's destroyed the businesses the everything stolen out of them, the windows are all uh, broken and everything. They know that and yet they told these people who they made a point to identify with and said we are black men, they told them to destroy their community. It's really awful when you think about it. A French website warns its citizens which American cities to avoid when traveling and of course this area is one of them they give the parameters where to go where not to go Saturn V as it prepared to launch was approached by um, blacks in a horse and buggy or a cart to protest inequality in their eyes misappropriation of funds should go to help the black underclass not for the space program. The space program has been sacked. Uh, the last I heard the Americans were hitching rides with the Russians. Now a black horse, a blacks on a horse and a buggy approaching a space vehicle, if that's not a racial difference in a statement, tell me what is. There's lots and lots of statistics in this book, and um, uh, he gives sources all throughout and also at the back. Commentary. I was 11 going on 12 in 1964. I do remember riots uh, in the street over the black issue, um, segregate when the schools were um, desegregating. Uh, the white uh, American government brought out its white military uh, militia to protect these black students as they entered the school. Civil rights was all about, uh, it was synonymous with the black issue. We didn't know the scope of civil rights. That has only recently come out. Uh, but it was really about making life better for blacks and uh, including them in society so they could pull themselves up. These were blacks who had been descended from slaves for the most part. But when you realize um, that Ferguson is a, a lot of immigrants there and they're still pulling this race card out of their pocket, it makes you realize how much 
this whole racial issue has really been manipulated. Great book, lots of, lots of numbers.